everyone, so we're going to be going to see the movie soon. That's great. So, I'll give a little bit more detailed description soon. Um, but for what I write quickly about the, the movie, is that it has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. And it also uh, has a 92% audience rating. So that's pretty good. So I'll see you guys after the movie. Right, everyone, so we're now heading towards the movie. We're going to be leaving in just a few minutes. We're going to make for the 9.15 showing. In the er You'll see earlier in the vlog that I was going to go for the 6.30, but then some things came up. So that's just fine. I will get the review in, hopefully before midnight. All right. I'll see you guys after the show. Hey, guys. It's JJ here. We're at McDonald's. We just had to stop here to uh, use the bathroom and maybe get something to eat. So right now we're on... Uh, recording this it is 11 45 p.m eastern standard time i'm around 15 minutes away from my house so i won't be getting the video up before midnight that's a shame but don't worry i got a whole notebook full of notes almost on the movie and my sister's gonna be helping me out so yeah i'll see you guys at my house welcome back to jj's great games it's your host here jj and here we are at the It Review. I know you guys have been waiting for this uh, for a, almost a day now. Sorry about that. Some scheduling things came up. So, the theater was packed. It was all pretty good, actually. Um, it had that really high score of 90 on Rotten Tomatoes. That's very good. So the movie starts out during the opening credits with children singing and rain falling, which sets the mood. So then we go to Deary, Maine, October 1988. Deary is based off Bangor, Maine, uh, Stephen King's hometown. So Billy, the main character, is holding uh, this paper boat for his brother Georgie. Um, so Billy is too sick to go out with his brother, so Georgie goes out alone. It's like downpouring right now, so there's the river of water. The boat goes into the sewer. Georgie meets um, Pennywise the Clown. We never see Georgie alive again. Let's see. So then we go to about a year later in June 1989. Um, so it's the last day of school. The main characters are walking down the hallway. It's Billy and the two other people. Don't know their names. Really could care less right now. So then we're introduced to Bev, who's uh, known as the school slut because she kissed a boy in third grade. She gets uh, water, uh, trash water dumped on her. Um, Brandy, quiet down! So, as uh, Bev walks out of school, she meets uh, Ben, the chubby new kid, who uh, has a really big crush on Bev. So she signs his yearbook and stuff. He gets all happy. So then Billy goes home, is talking with his dad about, um, what the hell is it called? Uh, George's disappearance. Uh, Bill's dad says, George's dad, get, o get over it, and then walks away. So then we get to, uh, so then Bill and uh, his other friends uh, go and try to find uh, where George went, where Georgie went. So they go to what the hell is it called? Um, the river where there's a sewer tunnel entrance. And during this time, uh, Ben is at the library reading when he gets ambushed by bullies, kidnapped. Uh, get then the main bully is uh, gonna carve his name on his chest with a knife, but then he uh, falls down, and that's when he meets the crew, which is now known as the Losers Club. Um, so, they help, so Bev, uh, meets them in the town, they all, uh, help, uh, Ben and get the stuff for his wounds. They, uh, are then, uh, then when Bev gets home, we find out that her dad's a big pervert. Um, so she, uh, then she decides to just hang out with the boys and stuff. So... In my opinion, the characters were really great and stuff, now that we're just them. 
So Billy, like, really wants, like, feels bad about his brother's death and wants to find him, and he be truly believes he's alive. Um. So Bill feels like a ghost in his own house, pretty much, because everyone has, like, gotten over Georgie, except he hasn't. Um. So. Let's see. I, I know it's just that I've had a long, I know it's staying while well, I've just had a long day of kind of in stress. I'll edit some stuff out. So. So yeah, then there's Billy's best friend, Richie. He plays the role of comic relief in the movie. He swears and says a lot of cringy shit. He has a, but his biggest fear is clowns. So you know he's gonna feel real great in this movie. So then there's Stan, the Jewish boy who's preparing for his bar mitzvah. Um, Stan struggles with memorizing all the stuff. Uh, and his fear is this distorted painting that like really like freaks him out badly. Um, and then it comes to life. And that is one of the scariest scenes that tries to eat him. So. So then we, we see Michael. He's the black homeschooled kid whose parents died in a fire. He lives on a sheep, sheep farm where he shoots sheep before they're skinned and stuff. Uh, his uncle points out that uh, he's allowing fear to control him. So, Michael, while biking, uh, sees, uh, there's an Easter egg of, at the theater. Um, the movies that are playing are Batman and Lethal Weapon 2. So, well, any kind of viewers would see that. Um, so the film itself, like, focuses on the character's fears. And, uh, Pennywise himself feeds on the fear. And also the children's bodies, but mostly the fear. So... So, Billy's uh, fear is guilt slash loss of his little brother, Georgie. Bev's is blood represented by one of the best scenes in the film where the bathroom like, is exploded by blood. Um, let's see. So, the losers club bit. Uh, banded together with their personal despair uh, and face their challenges and confine their fears. Um, so, then here comes the one of the most famous scenes from the trailer and the original. The I bet all of you have seen this if you've seen a single it trailer. It's, what's it called? The projector scene. You know, the, when they're f going through the map of, and it's all connected to the sewers, and then, like, you see all, and then, like, Pennywise uh, comes out of the projector screen and stuff. So, in typical horror movie fashion, they all go into the dilapidated, uh, burned-down house. Then they go to look for Pennywise. This doesn't go so well. Um... It's a bunch of jump scares. So then they're divided by different doors. And when they're divided, they fail. That was when I spent. So. Well, what's it called? I forgot the kid's name, but. It's the one who's always on the medication. Falls down and, and breaks his arm and then gets his face almost eaten by Pennywise. Um. So then after this, they all, the group disbands. Then it go, jumps two months later to August. So. So then that main boy, Pennywise gives him a knife, and then he murders his father, who's the lead cop in town. Um, so then they go to Bev's house. Bev's dad tries to rape her, and then she kills her dad. But that doesn't last long because in like 30 seconds later she's kidnapped by Pennywise.
another cliche damsel in distress. So, they know where Pennywise is. He's in the old sewer system. So they go into the old creepy house again. But this time they're a team. So they go in. They're all down except uh, Mike, who has all this ammo for his sheep shooting gun. So, the bully comes in, knocks all the ammo down, and then uh, Mike kills the guy by kicking him down into the well. So, they go down. Um, they all start facing their fears. Uh, but then Billy sees a vision of Georgie and chases after him. The rest of the crew goes and saves Be uh, Bev. Uh, ben kisses her and brings her back to life. So then they all confront Georgie, who talks about how he misses it. So then it's one of the hardest decisions in the film. So Billy has to shoot Georgie in the head because he's not really Georgie, but Pennywise in disguise. And then they kick Pennywise's ass. Like, and then since he can't st feed on their fears, he stars, his head explodes, and he falls down into the well. So now to the final scene. They all take a blood oath and say that in 27 years, if Pennywise comes back, they'll do it. And they'll take him on again. So... For some reason, Bill then falls in love with Be uh, Bev, the entire theater boo during this. And then here's one of the things that Hollywood loves to do. It says, It, Chapter 1, which means what the first movie got done in one movie, they're taking two or more. That's all I gotta say about that. So now it's time for my thoughts on the movie. It was an excellent movie. It wasn't as scary as I had hoped. I was hoping I'd be scared shitless, honestly. But, that's all I got for now. Would I watch it again? Absolutely. I can't wait. I hope this comes out in 3D. I'll see you guys in the next video.